It is the 1st of September 2020, a Tuesday uh, th that is the first or this, we can say the debut of this fantastic political show that is right here starting on Y254. My name is Ram Maguko, trusting that you've had a fantastic evening this morning th this evening we have a lot in store for you right here on y254 we shall be putting politics into perspective and specifically political party progression what next for our kenyan political parties we are gearing up to 2022 do we expect to see lots of changes in our political parties and do they stand for ideologies rather than individuals well we shall be putting this into perspective with my panelists i shall be joined by Karl Marx Odiambo. He is a governance and policy expert. I shall also be joined by Advice Mundalo, who is a political and communications strategist, coming up in a bit. Remember, this is where we interact with you. Our handles is at Y254 channel on Twitter, at Y254 on Facebook. Tag me at Ram Aguko. The hashtag is The Stand. It starts right now and as we w would like to set pace right here on y254 we shall have our panelists joining me on set they shall take the position giving addressing the nation in regards to this subject matter and introducing first Karl Marx Odiambo who is joining me right now on set Karibu sana Karl Marx uh -huh. taking uh, a center stage you're looking good thank you very much for joining me today First show. Thank you so much, uh, Ram, and uh, <laughs> I think it's that show that we've actually been longing for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, more importantly, yes, um, yes, yes. I think we need to pick it as the stand. Yes, and uh, I would like to find out your stand in regards to this. So, how best can Kenyan political parties take its people to the next level? Um, thank you, because we talk yeah, of the stand. You, sorry, you have two minutes. Yeah, two minutes each. We talk of the stand, and when we talk of the stand, there is much to the cognitive and the dissonance uh, why we talk of many political parties not to be the solution uh, to Kenyans and even to Africa. Um, remember, we have over 160, 160 uh, political parties presenting candidates, presenting candidates um, at the national, the county, the constituency, uh, the ward elections on the ballot. More importantly, um, we talk of, if you look into what we are referring to as political parties, I would first of all suggest that we need um, to actually um, reduce the number. We reduce the number of the political parties um, in line with the, the ideologies. Because if you look into the political parties that we have today, uh, basically, I can call them uh, business ventures because they don't stand the, time, uh, the test of time. Since um, uh, the birth of the multi-party democracy in the year 1992, uh, floating political parties is like talking about uh, business ventures. And this one, I'll actually uh, put it into two major reasons. One, that the political parties are being, um, I mean, um, uh, the, the state is providing uh, funds uh, for the political parties actually to assist them to, um, um, I mean, to uh, run their functions. Number two, you can realize that the political parties that we are talking about is that it's about the, the, the nomination certificates that are being sold to huge numbers at a price that get to understand. And it is the most expensive and that stand, might stand. We shall continue from, Thank from you. there. Just take your seat there. And uh, remember, uh, right here on Y254, we engage uh, our panelists, giving them the platform to share their stand within a, uh, a two-minute uh, time. So coming up next is uh, Mundalo M. Advice. He is a political and communications strategist. Karibu sana Mundalo. Take the stand and give us your take in regards to political party progression so how best can kenyan political parties take its people to the next level your stand you have two minutes thank you so much Ram, for having me this night and for sure this is one of the amazing shows that we're having tonight mm -hmm. 
about political parties, we all understand that our country has been able to move from being uh, a de facto one-party state to a de jure one-party state. And then we adopted multi-party in 1992 through the efforts of the many who fought for it. But it's unfortunate that as it stands today, most of our political parties are what I would call election bidders than political parties. Because a political party is supposed to be driven on agenda, on ideology, and is supposed to propel a country towards a certain vision. Unfortunately today, most of the political, if not all the political parties that we have, don't stand by, uh, by that fact. Most of them are actually election bidders anchored on party leaders. And it's unfortunate that the political party leaders in Kenya are more important to the party than the party is to the political party leaders. And that is the unfortunate stand. Thank you very much. Thank you, you can Ron. take your seat. Yes, Remember to give us your take. That is their stand. But what is yours? The hashtag, the stand.